Hey everybody, it's Chuck with Chuck's Movie Minute and the Nerdorama Network coming to you live from Northeast Comic Con. Now I'm sitting here with a personal friend and a fan favorite from our pages, Dan Dufault, the owner of DD Studio Art. And pleasure to interview him today. Dan, thank you so much for sitting down with us today. Here, Chuck. Absolutely. So Dan, as you can tell from the magnificent art behind us, is uh, one of the featured artists here at Northeast Comic Con. Now Dan, how long have you been painting? I've been painting Chuck since I was uh, you know, six years old. Um, I've been doing popular culture artwork and cover work and so forth for about the better part of 15 years. Okay, now what would you say spun you into the superhero nerd realm that we see? So Honestly, personal favorites uh, and preference, but also it's when, when I go out and talk to customers and clients of mine, the artwork that they're asking for, the characters that they want to see. Uh, I try to stay true to the essence of those characters. I think it comes through in the artwork. And, uh, and Absolutely. Now, Dan, this is, I believe, the fourth con that I've met you at, and I've seen how big of a part of your operation that your family is. So I hope to have their support and see how enthusiastic they are about coming here and helping put your artwork on display. Yeah, it sure does. I mean, I'm a lucky guy. My, my family is uh, just as much a, a geek about this kind of stuff as I am. And like I said, hopefully that comes through in the work, that they're you know happy to be a part of it. We enjoy coming out to the cons. We do everything from San Diego to, to New York and Boston and back, and so uh, it's a huge help to have them be a part of it. Absolutely. Now I see that the wide selection that you have of all your different work here. Now how do you choose where you're going to go next? What are you, What's next for you? What can we expect for the next cons in 2016? Absolutely. I'm a, again, I'm a really lucky guy. Some of the stuff that's really popular right now out there in pop culture, uh, Star Wars and the, the Batman realm and the Avengers realm, all stuff that I really like to do. Those are the things that the customers are really pushing me for. Um, some of the things that you might expect, for example, from DC with the popularity of Arrow and the Flash. Um, as you know, I have a Zoom piece coming. Absolutely. There are a couple of other of the secondary characters from the Flash series that I have coming. Uh, Black Canary from Arrow, those kinds of things. People like to see not only the lead characters, but also the supporting cast. And, uh, and I try to try to make the fans happy. Absolutely. Now, it seems like in your last trip to Florida, you linked up with a new company that's going to be promoting your artwork, putting it on some new media, t-shirts, mugs, things like that. So tell us about that. Yeah, absolutely. So was, I have my, my friends and partners now at c &B Entertainment. They'll be uh, representing my work nationwide going into 2016, uh, doing some interesting things. As you said, fans not only want to hang it on their walls, but they want to wear it on their shirts. They want to have it in mugs and, and uh, in experience and enjoy the art in other ways. So yeah, c &B Entertainment, lots of announcements coming up in the next month or so around that. Now, Dan, uh, and I, uh, we love your artwork, and we own many pieces of it. What I love about your art is the realism. Is that something that you specifically try to craft? Is it just your style? I mean, look at some of the detail on these pieces. What is it that drives you to be so intricate with your pieces? Sure, yeah. So it's, uh, again, it's really personal style. So I kind of let what is appealing to me come through in the artwork. I tend to be a, a detail guy. I appreciate the nuances of characters. And as I said, I really try to capture the essence of the character and have that expressed through the work. Uh, and for my money, that really comes through in the detail. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, you do a lot of these cons. I've seen your schedule. You go nationwide. So what would you say is the best and worst part of the con circuit? The best and worst part. So certainly um, the logistics of moving your operation from coast to coast is definitely not the easiest thing. Um, but the, the best part is really getting to meet people from around the country that, that love your artwork. You know, going out to Anaheim, or Los Angeles, California, and having somebody say, hey, I saw you on Facebook and I really love your stuff. You know, from the other side of the country. I have uh, customers now from all over the world, thanks to social media and sites like yours. Um, customers from Australia, from Europe, from South America, etc., that, that love the work. So that's, that's the best part, is getting out there talking to people that appreciate what you do. All right, now, next big plans in 2016, working with this gallery. Uh -huh. What can we expect from you next? Where can we find your work? How can fans get in touch with you? Absolutely. So you can find my work at ddstudioart.com. You can certainly find me on Facebook through your site. I know we're going to have some links up there. Uh, in terms of what's next, like I said, all of the, the, the more popular series um, and, uh, and content that you see coming out now from Marvel, from, from Disney, from Star Wars, etc. There's a lot of new work coming out around that, a lot of excitement around those properties. So you'll see those coming out at the beginning of the year. The Zoom piece that I mentioned to you, that'll be out in a couple of weeks. So we look can't for that wait one next. for that. Now, just want to get your chance out there. Here's your minute. You know, pitch yourself to the fans. Let us know what you want to tell us about yourselves. If there's anything that you want the fans to know, we can edit this however that you like. But uh, yeah, just give a minute, son. So. Okay, so in terms of uh, what I really appreciate about being an independent artist is uh, that independence creates offering me the opportunity to be able to respond directly to you, the fans, right? To be able to draw for uh, for people and draw characters in, in ways that are 
uh, again, in, in line with the essence of the character, but also in response to how fans kind of want to see the characters portrayed. And, um, and so that's why I kind of keep doing what I'm doing. It's what drives me. Uh, like I said, it's my own kind of uh, geek nature, but also uh, just being able to put work out there to appreciate it and, uh, and respond directly. Now, Dan, when we spoke yesterday, we had talked about how you don't really hang your own art on your walls, but no, you do have a favorite piece, I believe, that's hanging in your home. Tell I us do, about that. I do have a favorite piece that is hanging in my head. It's the only piece that hangs in my studio. It's just, I don't know, I don't know if it's being humble or what, but uh, my favorite piece is The Flash. So all of the work um, that I have out at shows that, as you see them this year, is my 2015 work. Uh, the Flash just came out a few months ago, and as I said, I love to capture the essence of a character in, in a painting, and to be able to do that in two-dimensional static format is not always the easiest thing. You want the essence of the character to come through, and you want that excitement and that dynamism to come through, and for me, it just happened with The Flash, and some of that comes across in how the character is portrayed uh, physically, but also the pose and the lighting, and as all that comes together, and uh, I just love this one. And he's quickly become a bestseller, uh, by far and away. Totally understandable. It's by far our favorite piece. We have them hanging at home. Now, Dan, I have to just get this on camera so people will believe me. Oh, no. How did you come about the pose for the reverse flash? The reverse flash, thanks to my friend Chuck. <laughs> uh, he, when, it, when he first came across the flash piece, he loved the flash piece, which I, of course, appreciated. And he said, but Dan, you have to draw the reverse flash. I said, Chuck, I'm actually thinking about doing that. And he said, oh, you have to draw coming right at the flash and uh, head to head. So. That's what we did, and sure enough, he is now a best-selling companion piece to the Flash. Love it. Well, Dan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Look for the article, look for the links, and everybody, be sure to check the links below. We'll have everything to Dan's page. Check the written article, and be sure to check everything out on nerdoramanetwork.com, as always. Dan, it's been a pleasure. I hope you enjoy the rest of your con. We look forward to seeing you guys back later tonight, guys.